If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over some free players, some content releases, some new solos, and a bunch of stuff, guys. We have like 64 new players in the game. Some pretty exciting stuff content wise. Will you actually like the players? That's another question. But I do think this leads to a part two. I think that these are just the beginning at the 88 overalls and i think we'll probably end up seeing maybe like part two with 92 overalls or like mvp-esque right that's what i'm hoping for or they just they just had to drop the pre-release and come in because they were already late on it i'm not entirely sure on exactly where they're going with this but i'm hoping that this is just a precursor or something else also from a theme team standpoint guys this cards actually aren't horrible and this is a big theme team here which is why i'm emphasizing that because in past years team standouts you know they were cards that we expected to use on a regular team. Now, theme teams are very big this year, like Raiders theme team, you know, um, Ravens theme team. Like, there's theme teams that are Cowboys theme teams. There's team themes that people actually really like, usually the 49ers, the Giants. People actually really like using them this year because of the insane boost and the way this game is. So, getting 88 overall players that could be theme team boosted up to 90-something is actually pretty usable. But, um... And the last guys, before we get into the video, if you enjoyed the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, guys, if you haven't already, head on down below if you guys need coins and use my sponsor. Make sure to use my code for the discount. And as well, guys, real quick, if you guys didn't already see, I partnered with Underdog Fantasy. If you guys do want a chance at doing some player props and playing some daily fantasy on a super easy to use app, head on down below to my link. If you use my link, you can get up to 100 free bonus dollars, which pretty much means 100 free, 100 free bucks to go ahead and play on their app and get adjusted to the game without having to actually risk your own money. So if you want to do that, make sure you use my code down below, code Poodle. Of course, use the link, and I would use the code just in case to make sure everything goes through. But yeah, let's go check this out, guys. We have all these players. Just, we have two players per team, so 32 teams. I mean, 64 because it's times two. So we got the Bears. We have the Bengals. Now, we, let's see what we got. We have Darnell Mooney or Akeem Hicks for the Bears. We have Tyler Boyd or DJ Reader for the Bengals. Dawson Knox or Levi Wallace for the Bills. Then we got Melvin Gordon III or Mike Kaiser. We have Baker Mayfield or Anthony Walker Jr. Leonard Fournette or Jordan Whitehead. Christian Kirk or Jalen Thompson. Off the rip, some pretty cool names. Rashawn Slater or uh, Uchenna and Wosu. McCole Hardman or uh, Derek and Addy. Guys, McCole Hardman's probably going to be a goon on a Chiefs team team. Mike Glowinski or Julian Blackman. Tyler Biades or Randy Gregory. We got Robert Hunter, Jerome Baker. Landon Dickerson or Avante Maddox. Jalen Mayfield. That really just hurt my head. Or Steven Means, I don't know why. Mike McGlinchey or Jason Verrett. Billy Price or Leonard Williams for the Giants. LaVisca Chenault or David Hamilton. Tyler Croft or Bryce Hall. Halo Pulavati Vitae or Alex Anzalone. Randall Cobb or Eric Stokes. Eric Stokes is a cool one. DJ Moore, Jermaine Carter Jr. Jacoby Myers, Dante Hightower. Denzel Good or Max Crosby. We got Van Jefferson or Terrell Lewis. Al uh, Alejandro Villanueva or Patrick Queen. Adam Humphreys or William Jackson III. Jameis Winston or Pete Werner, Brandon Shell or DJ Reed Jr., Deontay, J Deontay Johnson or Cameron Sutton, Laramie Tunsil or Justin Reed, Taylor Luan or Elijah Molden, we got Urza Cleveland or Eric Kendricks. So this is interesting, guys. Some pretty good names there. 64 total players are just red. That was a lot. That was a mouthful. Let's go see if we could check some of the auction block for stats and stuff. But I do want to show you the new solos first, guys, as you do know. The new Gridiron Forge was released today. So if you come over to Challenges and head on over to Gridiron Forge, you will be able to go ahead and see the new solos that we got here. So Gridiron Forge first trial and this is going to be the new set. If you scroll all the way down, you can see the new 92 overall, Nat Jalen Phillips and his power up. Now, Jalen Phillips is actually really good. If you didn't see his stats, check out my video from yesterday morning, of course, because the, he won't be able to be checked stat-wise in the auction block right now. Really good card, 90 speed with finesse move, threshold, and everything, and it, with the right strategy card, could probably get him block, uh, blocks the threshold, he's an outside linebacker. Really, really good card for free. Will be 93 powered up, of course. And, of course, you get the Elite Pack, the Gridiron, and the Pro Fantasy Pack, and the 78 Gold Plus player from this, so make sure you go ahead and actually play this. Gridiron, Forge first trial, second, third, fourth, and final. Typically, there's one full game, I believe, at the end of each of these. So, the last one, yeah, the last one's a full... Hold up. They all look like full games. Uh, no, they're definitely not full games. These are probably just objective-based. Okay, so, they're not... I think the final one's a full game, then. The final trial, I, I believe that one's a full game, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. But, nonetheless, make sure you get this done. Free, 92 overall, Jalen Phillips. You don't want to miss out. It's actually a good card. I mean, I wasn't, like I said, a fan of the Zeke. I like JC Jackson because he's a deposition. Zeke, I wasn't a fan of because he's not the best running back that I could obtain at the time. 
This is going to be a 93 overall outside linebacker for free. You can move him to left, move him to right, move him down to end. They'll be used for him, in my personal opinion. But let's check the auction block. Let's check out a few names that I was a little interested in. Of course, I'm not going to check them all. It's 64 players stat-wise with the way the servers and everything are. Could take hours. But I'm going to check out a few good names that I want to see. I want to see Eric Stokes, for instance. That's a fast card. I want to see McCall Hardman. There's a few guys here specifically that I do really want to take a look at. Uh, where is it? Team Builders. All right. McCall Hardman. Perfect. Right there. 50K. Not a bad price. Let's see what he's looking like. 92 speed. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. He'll be 93 powered up. On a Chief Steam team, you're probably looking with... with on a Chief Steam team... With the go deep card, you know, with the speed boost and everything, you could probably get him up to like a 97 speed, right? Like maybe higher. This card close to 99. I don't really know, but this card's gonna be insanely fast. On a Chief Steam team, will be great. And his go deep and his deep route running could even get up to like an 89 or even 90. If, if, if the card you have is a double deep route running, uh, plus the power up, he'll get a 90 deep route running with like maxed out speed. Him and Tyreek Kill would be goons as the one two punch on a Chief Steam team. So that's an interesting one. Darnell Mooney, which I'm not sure if we saw yesterday. 92 speed. Powered up again, deep route running 89. Similar on a Ch on a Chicago Bears team, team guy's gonna be just as good, if not better, than McCole Hardman. So that's pretty interesting as well. Um, I'm surprised he's the same speed as McCole. I mean, he's fast, but I didn't think he was McCole fast. Let's take a look on down here. Any other cards that I really want to see? I did want to see, like I said, the Eric Stokes. Let's see if I can, you know, pass up through him. Patrick Queen looked really good. Eric Stokes, there we go. Eric Stokes, extremely athletic. So 92 speed corner. Uh, 93 XL. I wish his actual coverage stats were better because powered up even with the card, you're not going to get him to 90 man. All right. So I would say really, really budgety, like, like a budgety cornerback, right? Because you're not going to get a threshold corner on a budget team with that speed. So that's where you're going to find the use for him is going to be a budget team. Let's see what else we got here. DJ Moore, which I believe we saw yesterday or I saw already. Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon's interesting. Let's check him out. Running back for the Broncos. If you're looking for theme team, you don't want to get like Terrell Davis or anything yet. 90 speed but again theme team with this with everything else you'll probably be looking at like mid 90 speed mid mid low 90 speed for a theme team so that's not horrible i suppose although i'm not really a fan of this card it doesn't have high agility doesn't have the highest power kind of like well-rounded trash i always hate when cards are like that let's see what else we can find here it looks interesting let's take a look at jason verrett could be pretty decent on a niner steam team here and i believe a chargers steam team too if i'm not mistaken uh, okay, yeah, he's actually pretty good because he'll get 91 speed. Plus, he can get a, if you have a you know a lockdown card, you can get him to 90 man with above 80 press, and he'll get like 90 min like 94, 95 speed in the theme team with everything with the speed card and everything. So that's not bad. Again, you got that's you got to understand when you look at these cards. A lot of people want to call them trash off the rip, and I, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of them are trash. But I wouldn't say the whole thing is trash because if you are actually building theme teams, these are very usable cards. Because remember, with all the boost you get from theme teams this year, which is people, it, you know, there's two sides to the corner. People say theme teams are overpowered; they shouldn't get all these boosts. Then they drop 88 over, and people are like these are too low. We should have made these better. So, but you realize the reason you think that theme teams are overpowered is because they're dropping high overall cards that fit into theme teams. So if they drop 64 cards that could fit onto theme teams, that would essentially, if they were all 92 overalls give every theme team two massive boost i i get it i would prefer better cards too but you have to see maybe the reason why now again at the end of the day they might be being lazy and trying not to give us good cards after sending overalls too high dawson knox another beast on the theme team gonna get like low mid 90 speed oh uh, low yeah so much melvin gordon in that little area although the route running's kind of trash but everything else is decent decent enough at least but um guys about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you to the channel hit that subscribe button if you guys want to try it underdog fantasy comment down below dm me on twitter and of course the link will be down below as well pretty self-explanatory use my code thanks so much for watching guys i'm out peace